We have had a lot of changes in our department, trying to upgrade our nursing program and our curriculum. So what's new is now we have the fully functioning Dr. Mary Pappas Sim Lab. We can put those students in the simulation with those fully functioning high fidelity mannequins where we are able to allow students to practice and make mistakes in a simulated format. So we can put the students through different scenarios, different situations, and kind of stress them a little bit before they get into those situations with real patients. And just to give them a foundation of, it's okay to make a mistake here in the simulation lab. We're here to teach you. And let's review, what would you have done better? What did you think went well? And so those abilities to give the chances for students to learn from their own experience is invaluable so they can actually change how they're going to practice when they graduate. The next thing is our fully functioning skills lab that we have. And we have high tech equipment, low fidelity mannequins that students can practice on to get their hands on assessment skills, their tactile skills down so they, they can transition to the sim lab. So it's a progression from the classroom to skills to the sim. And so our students get that actual foundation hands-on skills lab and then our VR. We were able to get a VR, which is the Oculus VR virtual headset, and we connected with UB Sim, who is by Labster now, and they have a wonderful simulation where the students put on the headset and they are in a 360 fully immersive simulation. And so they can do that while in the classroom and we can actually project it onto the screen for the other students in the class. So while we're lecturing, that is something we can use or we can assign it outside of class and they come in and use it or during lab or clinical time. We used to have to do those kind of simulations on the computer where they had to click a button, but now they're fully immersed and they can fill a pulse. It's just very neat how this technology has evolved. And what these students, what we have found out is the students that we use this VR technology with actually have an easier time transitioning to the clinical space when they get ready to do their clinical rotations during the rest of their nursing program. It's like they're immersed in the hospital taking care of a patient. It's, it's kind of making education a little bit more fun, but at the same time we get to use those critical thinking skills of how do we care for this patient? What do we need to do next? What does the, the MAR look like, the medication? What does the electronic health record look like? They get to do that. They can wash their hands in the VR. They can feel pulses they, and it actually vibrates for them. So it's, it's, it's a technology that I think is useful to help them prepare to get into clinicals, but also to reinforce some of those skills once they're in clinical that they may not be very comfortable with. So being able to enhance the program, I'm very proud of. I'm very proud of our faculty throughout our, the College of Health Sciences um, because we are, have been able to move these programs into technology that students need so that they are ready for the workforce.